Look at the problem number four from the August 2015 Algebra Regents exam. Uh, so we've got a graph of a function here, and we need to find out which function could represent this graph. Uh, so the important thing to notice with this is in the factored form of uh, an equation, um, <clears throat> they, it reveals to us the zeros quite easily, or the roots. So right here, our x-intercept is 1, 2, 3, negative 4. This one is negative 2, and this one is 1. So that means when uh, we're looking for the factored form of this function, we want to find x plus 4, x plus 2, and x minus 1. And that's because if we set it equal to 0, um, <clears throat> you would get an x value of negative 4 here, uh, negative 2, and positive 1. And those are the, the roots that we're looking for. So, um, looking at the different options down here in our answers, we can eliminate um, both this one and this one because um, x minus 2 is not uh, what we're looking for. Now, to see which one of these is correct, we actually need to factor uh, x squared plus 3x minus 4 as well as the other one, which is x squared plus 3x plus 4. And ideally, um, we'll, we'll find out the two missing components that we're looking for here. Okay, so for this first one, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to get negative 4 and add to get positive 3. That would be positive 4 and negative 1. And then for this one, two numbers that multiply to get positive 4 and add to get positive 3. And you know what, that's actually not possible. Um, so you'd have to use the quadratic formula if you actually wanted to factor that. But it, we don't really need to, because I can see that this is what we were looking for, right? We've got x plus 2, x plus 4, and x minus 1. Those are the three factors we were hoping for. So the correct answer is this guy here, option number 3. Oh, sorry, no, wrong one. <laughs> option number 1. So yeah, I hope that was helpful, and thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.